Hi, day. I'm David, David Hill, head chef at Lakeside Restaurant at the University of Surrey. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, we're going to have a bit of fun me. today. What I found interesting is that we decided that we would do a duck pizza today. Yeah. And I come and it's already on your sheet. So one of the first pizzas we did on our takeaway menu was our duck and hoisin with spring onion and then a nice ribbon cucumber salad on top. And as you guys literally, we literally came up with the product. <laughs> Roast duck. It's got a Peking finish, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. I can see the nice glaze on the skin. Mm. Are we going to go with this duck hoisin spring onion sort of vibe? I think I so, yeah. So, in here already is just water and some sea salt just lightly dissolved. Take a small percentage of our flour from the recipe and add it in. It's really the only way to get that good elasticity. The it's gluten. It is, there we go, you do know. I get on my tiptoes, I lean forward, pull back. So don't use your arms, use your body weight because that, that, that's <sighs> a bit more sustainable going forward, especially if you're working all day, every day. Every day. Yeah, you can feel uh, your you arms starting to go sour. Faster, chef. Faster, chef. Faster, chef. That's it. Go on. You got your sweat on now. I like it. Got bad wrist. So these are the doughs that my my lovely sous chef John made for me this morning, and they've had their first proof. And then you'll see with my one, we're, we're really fluffy. And this is what you're looking for. You see, we can get it lovely and good flexy. gluten. Yeah, good gluten content, and it allows us to hold it together. So you're not a million miles away. You see, we're starting to get it there. Yeah. And twist and tuck and twist and tuck oh. until I get that perfect, nice rounded dough. And then we would leave that. Yeah. So we have a four-step cleaning method here. It's designed to control our hazard groups all the way through. And I just want you to wipe down everything we can touch, feel, see, our pre-clean. What we tend to do is wipe into our hand and not the floor, oh, otherwise yeah. the, our chef tells us off. Blue is a detergent. Pre-clean and get rid of any allergenic possibility, or at least reduce it. So we give it a really good wipe with this, and then we're going to get rid of that cloth. And then we go on to our pinky, which is D10. Kills bacteria. Absolutely. So we're going to stand back and we're going to shake from here Missed so that we get all. everything everywhere. What we're going to wipe this down with now, chef? Dry cloth. The important thing that I teach my students is the blue chemical cleans, the pink chemical kills. If you don't do it in the right order, we cross-contaminate and then we have to start again. The biggest thing to keep all of my customers safe. Yeah, you don't want to be selling food that kills people. No, definitely not. It's not a sustainable business model. So here's my colour code for the boards. Here's my system for the four-step cleaning. Golden rule of how we work, we go from unprocessed, being processed, the to pro processed. One, yeah. two, three. Everything's like all right-handed setup. I've noticed as yeah, well. Yes, so are you left-handed? Left-handed. Uh, we're gonna do a little switcheroo no in a worries. second then. In order to be able to use the knife effectively, movement is the key factor. We want the movement to start before we hit the product. So the idea is we want to get nice clean movements with our knife and we shouldn't hear anything but a nice swoosh. What sounds there. do you not want to hear? This one. You would not like to watch Chinese cooking videos there. But then they're using big Different, blade yeah. choppers. You're gonna go one, two, three. Right. One is stand to the side, look at me, sir. Yes, sir. Yep, get your hand in position. Finger first, thumb behind. The other reason to stand to the side is that this posture will stay here now because it's nice and loose. And then I want you to see nice clean movement all the way through. That's it. That's a bit better. Good. Get that ribbon rolled in. That's better, chef. There we go. So no one's perfect the first time. The truth is we try, we learn, we repeat. Time have you had lemon thyme before? No. Okay, so lemon thyme is one of my favourite herbs. That sounds amazing. So, is that just the plant? Is it's lemon just the thyme? plant. It's just if you think about lemons yeah. and the flavour, it's a naturally occurring flavour. I think we can try with a potato peeler here and we're just going to go through it like this a few times. Partly marinate it with a little bit of salt, sugar. So we've just infused a little bit of blossom honey. Yeah, I think we just want to build flavours and profiles. Yeah, I think we're good, chef. We're going to try this, yeah? Yeah, give yes. it a try. I'm going to. All I have to do is look at all of my ingredients. It's good though. Is it a cheesy mm, like... That umami flavour, huh? Have you tried this one? No. I mean, it's made of wheat, yeah. Flour, so gluten and yeah. soybean. It almost reminds me of tahini paste, then. Oh, it's, yeah. Like Asian marmite. Yeah. Why don't you have a little try of this one so we can get an idea of how we can balance them together? All right. I don't the chef already, he's eating all the food, that. Would you? Oh, I think it's probably not too far away. But I'm trusting you on trusting this one, Max. I right. am, yeah. Even a bit more of this, then. What colour ball for this one, then, chef? Yellow. Yellow, absolutely. Yellow is cooked food. Do you ever get a chance to eat Beijing duck properly? No, I haven't. Not native I used to live all. upstairs from a Beijing duck restaurant and it's oh, really? my favourite food. What do you think, little strips like yeah, that? Yeah, that looks good to me. The meat, I think we might just be rustic and pull it on. What Tear do you reckon? It. Yeah, Tear I like it. to get handsy. We're going to get lots of flour and we're going to use a bit of our fingers and a bit of gravity. Bear in mind we want a little bit of a rim around the edge, so oh, we tend oh, to work crust. from there. And we want it till 
We've got a relatively nice thin base. I've and you see seen pizza makers do this in like a big mound of corn flour yes. and stuff. So they use semolina or the corn oh, flour. Semolina, yeah. and, and some people like that. That's that kind of New York style. You want like some thick and thin spots, right? We want that rustic. We want that yeah. homemade. We want that kind of authentic. Now, although this is an Asian pizza, we still need a bit of that cheese mix going on. Oh, of course. Yeah, to help bind it together and give that flavour that we know from a pizza. I use cheddar mozzarella mix, 50-50. I'm going to take a bit of this lovely skin that you've chopped up nice and fine. Mm. Hopefully that'll go nice nice and crispy. Right, so we're going to have some lovely fresh spring onions. This looks good. How are you feeling, Chef? I'm feeling very good. Yeah? yeah. Right, so Max, what you're going to do, you're going to come over to here, we are going to line it up and get it really close on the edge of it, in a bit more and give it a bit more. That's it, perfect. So could you show me how you yeah. would twist so it? Yeah, so first of all what I do is have a little look and see the base. You see that back bit starting, starting to, to go brown. quite a bit. Pull back away and it's just get the balance that we don't get too much colour underneath to start to see those black spots yeah. in certain areas and that should be enough for me. We can get them made to this point, look at this. And that was what, not even a minute, I don't Barely. think, was it, Chef? Just get great. a bit of extra flour on here and get them on there. Have we got it? You need a pro's touch. You just need to be a bit brave and then mess it all up. We get there. Right. <coughs> it is getting the black at the bottom. Yes, it is. That's that charation. This looks amazing. Oh, I forgot to put duck on mine. But it's all right, because there is always another way. We got some you can top your pizza. Um, come right so this is part honest. of the course as well, plating, right? I saw. Absolutely. So we do a lot on plating and finishing, mm. little techniques. So I'm gonna copy you. Why not, chef? Mm. Put a bit of this on top. I think that looks banging. Let's have a go myself. Yes, I want some of that lovely oil. Well, that's the one, isn't it? Mm. I'm gonna get chefy now. Look. Mm. Look at that. Ooh. So here we go. So we managed to do a nice duck and fermented black bean pizza with spring onion and cucumber. Bet you've never done that before. Boom. <laughs> So, hopefully you've enjoyed our little pizza exploration. I really have. Should we try? Yes, let's get stuck in. Um, <laughs> mm, right. Wow. What are you thinking, Max? What are you getting? Bloody hell. That builds that really up. Works. That fermented flavour just keeps coming through towards Goes, the end. It works with the cheese. Yeah. And then the, the sweet bean sauce in the in the tomato really gives it a body. And then and this the is what I love when we get these lovely little weddings yeah. and poles in the, in the dough. And that's because we proved it and, and got that nice stretchiness from out. I mean, like yours, it, everything gels together better. Mine is more like you get this and then that. Well, wow. We're not talking anymore, we're just going to eat, all right? Mm. Just cut there, yeah? I just want to leave this with you oh, as a mate, present. Oh, mate, please do. Yeah. Max, it's been a pleasure to meet you, mate. It's been Thank really, you. really enjoyable. I'm a wee young lad working in my first job. I only learned to cook because it was better than washing up, Max. I'm yeah. not even going to lie. <laughs>